Now we will talk about powers of 0 and 1. Any number raised to the power of 1 is simply that number. So 5 to the power of 1 is simply 5. And 12 to the power of 1 is simply 12. This idea can be stated mathematically with a variable. I can say a to the power of 1 is equal to a for any number a. So this is always true no matter what a is. Anything raised to the power of 1 is simply that number. And that should make sense. Remember what the exponent is. The exponent tells us the number of times that the base appears as a factor. So if it's just used one time and not multiplied by anything, it just shows up, then it makes sense that we simply have that number. So 5 to the 1 is 5, or 12 to the 1 is 12, or anything to the power of 1 is that thing. Now let's talk about what happens when the exponent is 0, like you see here, 3 to the power of 0, or 215 to the power of 0. It turns out that anything raised to the power of 0 is simply 1. So 3 to the power of 0 is 1, and 215 to the power of 0 is 1. That's how mathematicians define a 0 exponent, or the result of raising something to a power of 0. The concept can be stated in general using a variable. I can say a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And that's true for any number a. Now this might not make a lot of sense to you intuitively, and that's OK. This is true by definition. Mathematicians have defined any base to the power of 0 as being equal to 1. So it made a lot of sense intuitively when we said something raised to the power of 1 was just that number, like 5 to the 1 is equal to 5. That really makes sense. If it doesn't make a lot of sense to you to say that 5 to the power of 0 is 1, that's OK. Just understand that this is true by definition. Anything raised to the power of 0 is defined to be 1. That's what mathematicians mean by raising something to the power of 0. They have defined that as always giving a result of 1.